Have you ever wondered what will happen if water is mixed with acid or base? Let us perform an activity to find this out. Aim is to observe the process in which water is mixed with acid or base. That is, we are going to add acid or base in water and when it mixes, we are going to observe what happens. The materials required for this activity are, we need water, 10 ml, test tube, a stirrer for mixing, concentrated sulfuric acid, that is H2SO4, and sodium hydroxide pellets, that is NaOH. That is, the sodium hydroxide available in solid form is called as sodium hydroxide pellets. Now, let us see what will happen. So, this is our procedure. That is, we are taking about 10 ml water in a beaker and then we are adding few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid to the beaker. Observe, only few drops we are adding to the beaker. Then we are slowly mixing the beaker. We can observe after some time, after mixing slowly, that the base of the beaker is hot. Uh, that is, we are taking, we can take a test tube or beaker. Okay, you can either take beaker or test tube. So when we touch that beaker or test tube, we can observe that the base has become hot. So why has the base become hot? We know that anything becomes hot when heat is liberated. And that process is called as exothermic process. So the process of dissolving an acid or base in water is called an exothermic process. And this exothermic process is called as dilution as we are mixing water to acid or base that is we are decreasing the concentration of h plus ions of the acid h2so4 here with acid now what we will do is what do we observe we observe that heat is liberated and we observe that the concentration of h plus ions will decrease why because water is added means the solution will look like watery because because it looks watery the concentration of h plus ions has decreased that two observations we get to know there is one is this is an exothermic process so we can say our result as follows so we observe in our result that heat is liberated Indicating it is an exothermic reaction is an exothermic process. Which reaction? Reaction of acid with water. Then one more conclusion we got that as water is added. The solution, that is the mixture of acid and water, is said to be diluted. So, diluted means we are adding water to it so as to decrease concentration of H plus ions in the solution. Okay, these are the two results which we got when we mixed concentrated H2SO4 with water. Now, we will perform the same experiment with sodium hydroxide pellets, that is NaOH. We are taking about 10 ml of water in a beaker. We are adding a few drops of concentrated NaOH to it. And we are swirling, that is mixing the beaker slowly. Then again, after mixing, we will mix very slowly. To touch the base of the beaker, we observe that the base has become hot. The base has become hot means that heat is liberated. We know when heat is liberated, it is an exothermic process. So here also we got the same results. Heat is liberated indicating reaction is exothermic. And as water is added, the solution is dilute. It means that here the concentration of OH minus ions has decreased when we added water to the base dilute NaOH. So the process in which water is added to acid or base and the uh, concentration of H3O plus and OH minus ions, that is H3O plus means H plus ions only because we know acid has H3O plus ions or H plus ions. So the process in which acid or base concentration decreases when water is added to it is called as dilution and the acid or base is said to be diluted that is why we say dilute acid dilute base it means that it has more amount of water and less amount of acid or base here observe in the experiment we took concentrated sulfuric acid that is we had more amount of acid and less amount of water 
have you ever observed what will happen if you're cooking in a kitchen and the oil you're cooking suppose uh, bhajias okay and uh, you the oil is very hot we observe that when we uh, go in the kitchen with wet hands and suppose by mistakenly if water falls on that hot oil what will happen the oil splashes on our hands and the oil splashes on our face so this is same as we should be careful in this experiment also the precaution is do not add water to acid or base as the mixture might splash out causing burns there are so many accidents which takes place when water is mixed with a hot oil or when water is mixed with an hot acid or when water is mixed with a hot base so this is a precaution which we follow in this experiment and cause burns but instead of that what you should do you should add acid or base to water you should not add water to acid or base understood see here i am adding concentrated sulfuric acid to water okay don't do like this suppose concentrate take concentrated sulfuric acid here and then add water to it this is water never do like this okay why you should not do like this because if you do like this water might that's mixture might splash out and they, they might cause cause burns and also sometimes what will happen is that as the beaker becomes very hot the beaker might break we know that right the base of the beaker is becoming hot so as the beaker might become very hot might become very hot the beaker might break and if it breaks we know again accidents will happen so these are the two things which we should uh, follow and also for signs drawn on the bottle of acid or base for example concentrated sulfuric acid has warning sign on it or concentrated uh, sodium hydroxide has warning signs on it or concentrated nitric acid has warning sign on it so look for signs drawn in the bottle of acid or base before using them swirl the beaker that is rot uh, swirling means rotating the beaker in a like rotating the solution in a spiral manner for example this is a beaker we are rotating it like this slowly 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 so always swirl the solution or the mixture in a very slow manner we should not mix very fast because if we mix very fast the reaction might be very corrosive and the acid or base might splash out of the face and cause burns it was our aim materials required procedure result and some precautions this is the warning sign which i was talking about there is this warning sign is displayed on acid or base bottles so that to indicate that it is very harmful do not use it with bare hands always use the solutions with gloves okay always hold the test tubes with gloves okay so as the acids are concentrated or as the bases are concentrated concentrated means it has more amount of h plus and more amount of oh minus ions so they might be harmful when they are mixed with water so always a warning sign is displayed warning sign like this is displayed on the bottles to aware us we we should be very careful before using them that is the purpose of warning sign on a bottle of acid or base okay so hope you have understood this video if you did please hit the like button and uh, also subscribe to the channel if you are new and share the video with your friends thank you very much for watching